Get out of here. Sure. I was just leaving. No, no, not you, Eddie. There was just a line that I was working on. Could you please sit down? I'm sorry. Please. Well, you delivered it well. Like he would know? You know, sometimes I have to look in the mirror to see who's there. You know what I mean? <laughs> Whew, much better. So you are make some booze with your downers now. Not booze, Eddie. It's champagne. It's still booze, and the combination can kill you. What, you're gonna lecture me now? Am I, am I the only person that tells you this stuff? What about your husband, huh? But what about your, your, your friends? I mean, for Christ's sake, don't you have any friends? Well, of course I have friends, Eddie. Ha! But see, these here are my best friends. They're the only ones who are completely loyal, the only ones who never try to change me. They shake me, see, and sometimes they get very nasty and they yell, Hey, bitch, get the fuck out of bed! Oh, yes. Sometimes, when I feel my clock running down and I'm dead on my feet and I can't dance another step, they run all over my body and turn all my switches back on. They make me alive again. The way they lined up to see me in New York. Don't let it go to your head. Same folks line up to see the fat lady and the two-headed calf. They love a good freak show. You seem to enjoy it. You think I'm fat? You're a little porky around the middle, if you want to know. I didn't ask. You know, Zanuck says he thinks the seven-year itch is gonna make him a bundle. He says it's my best role ever. Well, you've had enough practice. It's the same role you always play. Cheap, dim-witted floozy. He says I'm really incredibly good in the picture. Then why is he sending us this crap? Have you looked at these masterpieces? The girl in the red velvet swing. You play a rich old man's mistress. The Revolt of Mamie Stover. You play a hooker in Honolulu. Oh, and here's an art movie. How to be very, very popular. Starring Marilyn Monroe's Curly Flag. You should be working with Burton, with Brando, with Olivier. But what if I'm, you know, not that good of an actress? I mean, what if I just don't have that kind of talent? Then you'll just have to develop that kind of talent. You'll just have to march into Zanuck's office and remind him that he would lose about a million dollars a year without you. You'll just have to tell him you want to do serious roles in serious films with serious directors you select. And then what? Then will you be happy? Will that be good enough for you? Will anything ever be good enough for you? No, dear. Movie stars don't choose their own pictures. I choose their pictures. That's how they get to be movie stars. You understand me? You are a movie star because I made you a movie star.